So overall, holding on to some of those conditions that's going to give us uh, that moisture that's starting to build around the Carolinas. But we are hopefully holding on to those warm and breezy conditions for today. And then we're going to be having those rain chances as we head into your Thursday. And they have the potential to pack a punch. This is what we're watching, mainly this wet weather that's impacting Memphis, passing through Jackson, even getting uh, northern Louisiana, having a severe thunderstorm warning from this. That's going to be pushing into Mississippi here and eventually pushing in towards the Carolinas. Timing wise, this is Thursday morning, 6 a.m. Not looking at seeing any impacts from these showers and storms quite yet. It's the afternoon, the second half of the day, where we lose a little bit of steam. Again, the mountains working in our favor, but that gears back up late afternoon, early evening. This is 4 p.m. now on Thursday. Notice these storms setting up right over the Queen City, stretching along I-85 down towards Columbia, Columbia and even further into Georgia. And then it really gears up as it heads out towards Raleigh into the Outer Banks. I'm actually more concerned of areas east than the Queen City for those storms that gear up tomorrow and into the evening by Friday morning. Looking mostly clear on the back end of that cold front, holding on to mostly sunny skies with those warm conditions getting us into the 70s by the afternoon. Here's the dark green shading indicating that marginal risk for severe weather from the Outer Banks through Raleigh, Charlotte and Columbia and Georgia. And the main threat being some uh, some uh, large hail, uh, some heavy winds, high winds with this could be damaging winds at that. Can't rule out some pooling and ponding in low lying areas as we get upwards of a quarter of an inch to a third of an inch in a very short amount of time. So that's going to again be widely scattered and isolated by nature. Your best chance comes Thursday. Some pesky showers possible today. Same for the weekend. And then Monday of next week brings our next good chance of rain. In terms of getting the car washed, today and Friday might be the day to do it. Thursday might be do do dodging some of those storms, so we want to watch out for that. Waking up this morning, 60 degrees for the Queen City, 62 Monroe, 53 Albemarle. We're in the 50s towards Boone and Jefferson. Low 80s as we head into uh, into your afternoon hours later on today. So your Easter Sunday forecast calling for 70s, and that's going to be a pretty comfortable Easter Sunday with spotty showers. But we hold on to the overnight lows in the 50s above normal temperatures until Easter Sunday will be uh, below normal with rain chances returning early next week.